to install a shower floor using these pebble mosaics. And these pebble mosaics are, are really popular right now. It kind of gives the, the bathroom like a spa feel or a natural look. Here, let's get a little close up. Uh, these ones are actually cut flat, which is nice. Uh, what that does is it, it not only makes a smoother floor, but it also, there's less grout. The round, the round pebbles, the whole pebbles, they have a lot of grout and they're just a lot rougher. So uh, this is what we're going to be setting today. We already have our mortar bed installed. Our drain is at the right height. And uh, yeah, this is kind of just a cool little fun bathroom. Uh, the homeowner's kids actually made these tiles and we kind of just sprinkled them in the shower. So yeah, so we'll, we'll get going on it. We got our mud mixed and uh, we'll get set in this stuff. Got my custom. All right, so uh, I'm spreading the thin set mortar down. Uh, this, is, this is using a, a quarter inch by quarter inch notch. And uh, that's gonna give me enough of a thin set bed uh, to set the mosaic down in there, uh, but it won't be so much that it's squeezing up through the, through the grout joints here. So what I also did on this one is on, on my shower pans, I, I usually, uh, stack off of a piece of wood here and set the wall uh, that that not only allows for a better lap finish to having your wall finish on your floor but it also your floor cuts don't have to be as perfect because I'll run these rough to the wall and then this tile is going to stack on top of it and cover it so uh, some guys do it the opposite way and and sometimes I do that too but with the mosaic it's nice that, that you can uh, cover that edge cut with this wall tile. Also, you can see that these these have an interlocking pattern. Uh, they have this, you know, kind of it, it, It's a pattern. It kind of looks freelance, but it is a pattern uh, And it's nice that they're not straight so you don't see the sheets as much So I'm just going to start in the the, the corner and, and do a long run And you kind of have to the way I do these is I I kind of fold them a little bit fold them up and then then flip them so that the the uh, the end so your ends don't flop into the thin set. And then once you get one going, you can just slide it on top of the other one. And you can you can use like a, a beating block or a piece of wood to flatten it. I just use my hands. I trust my hands a little bit better. And with the slope on the floor, nothing's going to be totally flat. So I just touch it all with my hands, make sure nothing's sticking up. And then, you know, like around the drain, just cut the mesh if you can. And we'll put that guy in later. But yeah, since I have all the thin set down, I'm gonna cover as much as I can and then come back and make the cuts. So I'll lay one more sheet. Show you how, see how they interlock in there. Real nice. Cut it back. All right, so now we're we we got all the field tiles set in here, and we need to start piecing in around the edges. So I just take them. I take the loose pebbles off the sheets, and I get some loose ones. And then we went out to the saw and we cut cut a bunch of halves for the slivers. And these will be ones that go around the edge. So. Um, you might need to put a little mud on them just to make them a little stickier. But yeah, you just start piecing in around the edge and fill in any gaps. So I can take like the, the, the round pebbles and, and you just start puzzling it all in. You know, it, it's, it's supposed to be a natural look, so you wouldn't want any cut tiles in here. Um, I'll find some smaller ones to fit in there. And then yeah, so like these little slivers I can put, put in here at the edge. Couple more, maybe a little bigger one right here. And remember, this edge is going to get covered anyways by that tile. So, so yeah, you just start piecing them in. It's good to have small the the smallest ones. Right, possible. So now we needed a little bit smaller pebbles. We were getting too big of a gap around the drain here. So what we did is we went out to the tile saw and we made these these little cuts that you know we soften the edge to make them look more like a natural pebble. So I'll just kind of piece these guys in here uh, so that they, they look like they go 
they go there kind of go with the pattern again it's just like it's just like uh, doing a little puzzle here it's kind of fun uh, you'll notice too I set my drain down a little bit lower than I usually do um, that being I want this to drain really well uh, with the pebbles sometimes with a lot of grout you want this this pan to drain pretty good and you might want to put a little more slope on it than than a quarter inch per foot maybe go three-eighths a foot or or halfway in between quarter inch and, and three-eighths per foot but yeah you can see we just just piece them in and, and I'm doing this front edge here if you can come in and see um, see the way that I kind of piece everything in I just take them and find the, find the right size pebble to fit in there and it's, it's really pretty simple. That's a really nice pan too. But you can see why the advantage of having a flat pebble, it's a lot smoother than, than uh, the rounded bumpy pebbles. And uh, I don't know, these have been out for a couple years and we pretty much exclusively use the flat ones. There's a bunch of different colors you can use and it makes for a really nice shower pan. Hey, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did. I hope you learned something. Hey, if you got any questions or comments, anything that I can do better, anything you're struggling with, let me know, reply. And hey, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm going to have new stuff coming out every week now. I'm having a lot of fun with this. So hey, love you guys. You're beautiful. You're worth it. Go get them, man.